Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I've been wanting to make this video for like a while, um, just because it, it means a lot to me for people to watch my channel and kind of be like a support system on like all platforms, social media, everything. Um, but I feel like you all don't really know me personally, unless you are my friend or you have been around me. So I feel like the wrong impression is given off like way too often and I just kind of want to talk about that and just like talk about social media and talk about just like negativity and how much that needs to vanish. Um, I've really grown into wanting the best for everybody. I feel like people look at me in a different way. You look at my social media, you look at the things I do, the places I go, and you're just like, how could she ever have a bad day? Or how could she ever like hate something about her life? Or um, things like that. I just feel like social media really gives off a terrible vibe for that. I've been one to be like criticized and talked about, posted about constantly with my social media and like the things I do and um, I think if you sat down and talked to me for like 10 minutes you would want to be one of my best friends like I'm one of the most down-to-earth people that I want you all to see as well I think you all just see like me doing these things for my channel to like boost subscribers and boost like viewing times and me going on these trips and vlogging all the trips I do and um, I don't think you all realize what goes on behind it. I've had a lot go on recently that a lot of people don't know about and they're not going to know about. It's just because I'm posting on my social media pictures of me in New York or pictures of me smiling or having a good time and my stories. I'm going out with my friends. I'm doing all these things. None of you all would ever think that something is going on behind me. I'm going to show you all. So, this is my Instagram that you are looking at right now. Clearly, I take very much time in my posts and my pictures. Um, <clears throat> I've always been like that though. Like, I've always loved being behind the camera. Like, I love being behind the camera, clearly. Um, I love taking pictures. I love dressing up. I love putting outfits together. That's like, one of my favorite things to do and so when I post these pictures everybody sees it as like oh all she cares about is her IG pics like all she cares about is what she looks like and taking pictures and blah 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 but genuinely like in my free time this is something that interests me so if you look at my profile and you scroll through you're just like Oh, pictures on pictures, she's going on all these trips, she's going to music festivals, she's always going places, like, and yes, I will say I'm very blessed with the life I have, like, I couldn't thank God anymore for the opportunities I've been given, the friends I have, the family I have, the support, everything is just above and beyond, but something like nobody outside of my circle knows is that, um, I just hit one of the hardest times in my life and I've been down very very bad but like you would never know because of my posts and I'm gonna go back to how far it's been since I've been down bad that you all would never suspect um, so since this picture this picture and up I've been at the lowest point of my life and none of you all would ever suspect it, right? Because of my Instagram. My Instagram shows that I'm living, I'm literally having the best time, that there's literally nothing wrong and I could never have anything wrong because my life looks like everything's going great. And I don't know if you all have seen 
the TV show The Circle. It's on Netflix. Um, but it's pretty much like don't don't judge a book by its cover. And my Instagram is the, my cover. Um, on that show, they're all they all make their own profiles. They could be fake or they could be real, and they're judged by the people that's in the circle as well. And looking at my profile, you could view me as oh this perfect girl so she could pot potentially be a winner but in reality somebody could be using my profile just to show just to be the winner even though that's not even really them so i think like what i'm trying to like get across is so many people judge like based off of social media everyone's gonna have their opinion when they first look at a profile um, even Twitter, I mean, if you follow my Twitter, I, I look I look like I'm going through everything and then having the best time of my life and then wanting to move and then wanting to, like, it's just like, there's, you never know what's really happening. And I'm just now, I'm not even, I'm not even now, like, I've got over the hard part and I've got over being down so bad to where I didn't even want to speak to anyone, didn't even want to, like, leave my room, didn't even want to go and do things and I'm just now hitting that point and you all have no idea I'm the type of person where I'm not gonna sit here and act like I have the worst life or act like I need you to pity me I have to find ways in myself and even you if you're going through something that you haven't got past yet or you feel like you're never gonna get past it you have to look at the positive of everything I try to put on my Instagram story at least a couple times a week a positive quote on my story because I know when I read it I'm like okay like it's very true and if I post it I know that somebody else because I do have a higher following is going to see it and it could potentially help them as well so I'm not using my social media to just boast my pictures behind all those pictures and behind all those posts is a real human being with feelings that I don't think anybody else can really ever see I just feel like girls struggle with this harder than anything is because people will go to their profiles and go to their social media and just be like immediate she's stuck up she's blah 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 like I am so over hearing all of those things like I just want there to be more positivity and more self-love and more self-worth for all the girls out there and even guys who are like going through shit but feel like they have no type of outlet like me talking on here right now is kind of like an outlet to me because I don't I don't express my feelings to really anybody I don't let people know that I'm down bad or that I've been having a bad day you're gonna probably tell if you're gonna find your yourself again and gain back that self-love you have for yourself you have to switch up your schedule. You have to try new things. You have to work outside of that box you were so used to being in. That comfortable box you were used to being in. You need to go outside of it. And you need to find new things. You're not gonna grow, you're not gonna prosper. You're not gonna find new things, new people, if you stay dwelling on something. So like, I've been going and doing things. I keep myself occupied 24 seven. I feel like I never stop, to be honest. And I want, I want everybody to know that like, you may not have a support system like I do. I have a heavy, my friend base is massive. There's so many of us. And my family is just amazing as well. But like, some of you I know don't have that or you don't feel like you have someone you can talk to. I will let you know right now, I am the Dr. Phil of the friend group. So if you have something you want to talk about, shoot me a message. I promise I will message you back and we can literally talk about life. Because that's what I do with my friends all the time. I am the therapist. They all come to me and say, Sarah, like, what should I do? What should I say? I've typed so many messages to your boyfriends. <laughs> like, the amount, the, I'm sorry, but like you boys who have dated my friends, those messages probably coming from me. It's just, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's just how I've always been. And I've always been the friend to like, 
turn to or the friend that they're comfortable talking about stuff with there's people who are probably gonna hate on this video and all I'm trying to do is like let you all get to know my background more and help you all become maybe more positive or love yourself even more because I'm struggling with it and I know other people probably are too and I want to be the one that can like help in some way shape or form all I want from I'll just say from here on out is positivity because there is like slim to none positive like people in the world like it's really bad it's so bad it takes so little to be positive and so much more to be negative now sometimes when negative things come in my head I'm just like don't even say it don't even like go on to the next thing because what's the point you're never going to love yourself if you can't love other people I think I'm just getting to the point where I'm realizing that being positive and loving myself first is the main the main things you can have in life because you're making your own decisions in the end who do you have yourself you want the best for yourself and you want all of these amazing things to happen you have big these big dreams these big goals and in the end who is the one going to make that happen you so i don't know i feel like this is low-key like a therapy session but really like i want this out there i want it to be known after showing where like you could never tell from me going from everything in my life was perfect to being down the worst I've been in my life because I've never really had something to be down about when you're messed up like mentally and you're down bad and you don't know like when you're gonna come out of it you have the option to either show it or continue with your life and push through and know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel no matter how hard it is to see that light you were not put on this earth to just be sad and upset and mad at the world everybody has their reasons to hate the world that they live in but i just wish there was more that people would see and do to make the life the one life they were given positive and to love themselves and to see their worth. let everybody know that you are living a great life like if you are a girl you know how hard it is to be a girl and to post things and because you're worried about what he might say or what she might say when in reality it should be what you love and what you like on your profile. So don't let this person hold you back because they said that your nose was big so you're not going to post anymore. Well, if that person wouldn't have made that one comment, you could have been one, one step happier than you were at the moment. So don't be that person that pulls someone back down when they just made progress getting up that one step that may have taken them months to do. There is more to life than hating on people. You can be positive and then your life will become positive. That's what you all need to think. What is this action I'm about to do going to do for me? Is it gonna benefit me in any way to be negative or down or sad I know it's a process that is natural to go through when you are down. You have got to pick yourself up and be as strong as you possibly can because your mom can't do it for you. Your best friend can't do it for you. Your sister can't do it for you. It's all about you. So take matters into your own hands and build steps to get up but only make a couple. Don't make it a whole flight of steps that is gonna be difficult to get up. You can make it easier on yourself if you try your hardest. The process is never going to be easy, but you can at least help the situation. I know some of the most cool, beautiful, down-to-earth girls who think they are walking trash because of what social media has done to them, what others have said about them, what their family has said about them, what their boyfriend has done to them, and they just think that they are below everybody else. And they see all these other girls and 
what they're posting and they're like, oh my gosh, like I wish I could be her. I wish I could do this. I wish, like quit wishing for other people's lives. Make your life the one you want it to be. I don't know if you all know this, but every one of us were put here for a purpose. We literally have so much potential in life. We cannot spend it down bad or worrying about what everybody has to say about you. You cannot spend your life like that or you will never make progress. I have such big dreams in my head that I want so bad. And you hating on me or you or me having a terrible fallout with my boyfriend who I had this whole future with, but now it's like, all right, I have to go down a different path and I am the one in charge of it. So I'm gonna make it the best I can. If anything, it pushes me harder and it should push anyone harder who goes through anything in their life, a trial or something that they feel like they can't get over or just the stigma they have in their head that other people have gave them. You are in charge of your happiness. You are in charge of what dreams you accomplish, what goals you meet, you are in charge. I don't know why there should be like a rule book necessarily on what you post, but, or how much you post. That's another thing is people get mad when you post a lot and I'm just like, why? Why did that anger you? Like if you're getting angered by people's social media, then you have internal problems that you need to fix within yourself because there is a lot more to life than getting mad because Rebecca posted a picture and her boobs are out. Like, why did that make you mad? Like, this shouldn't have made you mad just then. You need to be surrounded by positivity. I know it's hard to be positive all the time, even myself, because I obviously am human and I do have negative thoughts and negative comments. And I'm just like, all right, let's bring it back because that was rude or that was unnecessary. So I am also improving myself. This thing that I'm going through has taught me keep pushing forward no matter what, that I have to have a positive mindset to even move forward. I hope this video shows you that like, I genuinely have feelings. There's more to life than being negative, dwelling on the past, being upset, not making this one life you got you got one chance to make this the best life you've lived. And if you're not, then you need to start now because life is way too short. You never know what can happen and you never know who could be in and out of your life like that. So make your life the one that you have always dreamt about. Meet those goals, do what you love, post what you love, continue your life, in a positive way and please realize your worth in this world i just had to come on my soapbox i guess for a little bit and i could talk about this for days but this is youtube and i know not everybody is gonna watch or has is even still watching if you are still watching thank you i hope this helped you some and i i hope this opened your eyes to me a little bit more um, that I'm not just some stuck up girl on Instagram who posts the most perfect pictures she can get because that's not me. I, I just enjoy sharing my life and sharing the things I'm doing. Please subscribe. Please like this. If you want more videos like this of me literally just like talking about real world things that are happening, and you can comment below. If not, I'll continue with my vlogs and my exciting life and my questions and my challenges and whatnot. Um, I'll talk to y'all later.